Good day, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with a virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has served in even plain lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear friends, today God is inviting us again to reevaluate and examine our being a disciples of Christ, especially in doing good works and in our words and in our deeds. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those people who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, 
so that they may return to the right path. Give all who, who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. A new king who knew nothing of Joseph came to power in Egypt. He said to his subjects, Look how numerous and powerful the people of the children of Israel are growing, more so than we ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increase. Otherwise, in time of war, they too may join our enemies to fight against us and so leave our country. Accordingly, thus masters were set over the children of Israel to oppress them with forced labor. Thus, they had to build for Pharaoh the supply cities of Phaeton and Ramses. Yet the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The Egyptians then dreaded the children of Israel and reduced them to cruel slavery, making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work, the whole cruel fate of slaves. Pharaoh then commanded all his subjects, throw into the river every boy that is born to the Hebrews, but you may let all the girls live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive, when their fury was in flame against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the forent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not leave us, a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snail. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of our Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives the prophet, because he is a prophet, will receive the prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man, because he is righteous, 
we receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because he is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. And when Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from the place to teach and to preach in the towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung isipin po natin, Jesus Christ gave everything to us. Especially, love, peace, peace, prosperity, and many more. But in our gospel for today, it is in the in contrary. Parang sinasabi niya, binibigyan ko kayo ng kapayapaan, dinadala ko ang pag-ibig. Now, I did not come here to bring peace on earth. I have come to bring not peace, but swords. Try to, to reflect on this, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is pointing out that we need to need we need to stand firm. Sana meron tayong paninindigan. Paano po paano natin ma- ma- malalaman? For instance, if we are in a community wherein masasabi natin na sila may ginagawa silang mali. But you 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 stand what you believe. Ito yung pagiging kristyano natin. Pag alam na natin na mali yung ginagawa natin, ginagawa nila, tapos inaakay tayo, tapos tayo ay very strong in our will sa ating prinsipyo na hindi tayo hindi tayo ini-invite o hindi tayo kayang hugutin, then yung sinasabi natin na we are practicing Christian. Or for instance, in the government, pag nakikita natin na may mali, yung iba kasi pag mali na nga, then, ini-invite tayo. Ang pagiging kristyano is that we need to stand on, on our principles in life. And Jesus believed that div- division is sometimes good in a sense that we are practicing the good kung ginagawa natin yung kabutihan. And that is precisely yung nangyayari today. Kung isipin po natin, even in the early times, yung mga, mga martyrs, mga martyr, sino yung first na, na nagsusumbong sa kanila? Their own families. Kaya nga, even their own families, sinuplong sila. But then, namatay sila because they know the truth. Ang mahirap kasi sa atin, when we know the truth, pag alam natin yung katotohanan, sometimes medyo, medyo shaky tayo. Medyo, nasa, medyo shallow yung grounds natin. Kasi, tinitimbang natin kung ikakabubuti mo ba or ikakabuti ng marami. I hope we understand that division can also give us a something, something good. Especially in doing the right thing. Ang mahirap kasi yung gumawa ng tama. And, kinisipin natin, pag gumawa ka ng maganda, reward will be given to you. Pag gumawa ka ng mali, punishment. So, meron yung idea na reward and punishment. Even in the, in the family, inside the family, or even in our workplace, if we do good things, reward will be given to us. But if we do the, not the, the bad thing, or bad things, then punishment will be given to us. So hindi natin maalis yan. And nakikerry natin yan from time to time. Not only in the family, di ba nga, pag, pag sa school na lang, yung bata, pag nakakuha siya ng perfect score, may star siya. Pero pag mababa yung, yung nakuha niya, pinapagalitan siya. 
So, where is, ganit, ganit, ganun po yung bahay. Ganun po yung buhay. Na hindi natin maalis na sometimes meron tayong pinagdadaanan. And, Jesus Christ is telling us that hindi po dito mare-receive natin yung reward. But, sa kabilang buhay. Our reward will be given in the next life. And, sinabi pa dito, whoever gives only a cup of water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely lose that lost his reward. Yung mga maliliit na bagay, yun lang hindi natin iniintindi. Yung mga maliliit na bagay, yun yung parang wala lang tayong pakialam. Gusto kasi natin malaki, big. Example sana, pag mag-achieve tayo, big dreams. Yung mga maliliit, parang nababaliwala. Pero sabi nga nila, pag yung maliliit na, na pinag, pinagsama-sama, lumalaki yan. Gusto natin yung grasya ng Diyos, dapat malaki. Dapat instant. No, my dear brothers and sisters, Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, is giving us something that is siguro yung mga maliliit na, na bagay ay yun yung binibigay niya sa atin. Not only in the in, in, in material thing, but especially in relationship. So my dear friends, try Christ is telling us that we need to treasure the little things. Mga maliliit na bagay. Kasi, maliliit man yan, pero nakakapagbigay naman ng saya. Kahit naman malaki yan, kung walang pagmamahal, hindi mo masasabi. Pero pag maliit na bagay, tapos merong pagmamahal, yan yung lasting. Yan yung maiiwan. Yan yung maiiwan sa atin. For instance, my dear brothers and sisters, nagbigay ka ng pieces, pieces of advice sa friend mo. And that is out of love. And that is full of love. Yun yung matitreasure. Nagbigay ka ng donations mo sa simbahan, kahit konti, but that is galing sa puso, and that is something. And that is most precious in our eyes. Sabi nga natin, bakit tayo pa na namumoblema tayo? Tayo pa na nagsisimba? Tayo pa na, mad- na madasalin? Tayo pa na nagbibigay sa simbahan? Tayo pa yung madaming pinagdadaanan? Sinasabi nila, unfair Lord, kami na nga yung gumagawa ng kagustuhan mo. Ba't ganito yung nangyayari sa atin? May mga bagay-bagay po sa atin na sinusubukan tayo ng Diyos. May, may binibigay sa atin ng Diyos para tignan natin kung gaano natin i-handle ang isang bagay. But let us assure of this, that God will not give us a certain problem, a certain situation na hindi po natin kaya. Because I believe Jesus Christ, our Lord, will always be there for us. Kaya nga, bakit yung mga, mga ibang tao mas pinapaboran ng Diyos? E ako na binibigay ko ang lahat-lahat ko, hindi ako binibigyan, pinagbibigyan ng Diyos. Wait, my dear brothers and sisters, mag-antay tayo. Sabi ko nga, our reward will not be given here, but our reward will be given in the next life. So, let us try to to deepen our relationship to the Lord. Habang, sabi nga nila, habang may pinagdadaanan ka, habang may pagsubok sa buhay, dun natin nakikita ang presensya ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Dun tayo napapalapit sa Diyos. Dun tayo humahawak sa Diyos. Dun tayo pumupunta sa Diyos. Ang ganda na isipin natin na ang Diyos hindi tayo pinapabayaan na ang Diyos andyan lang po para sa atin. Kaya isipin natin, ang Diyos na mapagmahal, hindi po tayo pinapabayaan. As long as 
we will recognize His presence in our life. Sabi nga nila, hindi po tayo bibigyan ng Diyos ng pasaki ng, ng problema na hindi natin kayang buhati. Because we believe that God will always be there for us. Amen. Please stand. If we are faithful to Christ, we will not be always popular. May this mystery of detention and struggle of the kingdom help to form our intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church members may be courageous and constant in their faith amidst opposition and persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may have the strength to resist negative influences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Conform us in our pain and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer, prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for, though, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving in itself, your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company of choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> Sono, sono, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light through your loving plan 500 years ago. Missionaries came into our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your son, to our ancestors that made us your people in the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, the feats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us through light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. 
give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy in life. May the Blessed Mother, the Star of Evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal na Ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Peter. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer before the crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humble you, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. Vain, O oh dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>